I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to be behind such a huge pile of wool of the Andes. And the thing is, this was the very first yarn we started bringing in when we decided to begin our Knit Picks line of yarns. And Bob and I traveled down to Peru and we organized having the Wool of the Andes brought in and a couple of others. But Wool of the Andes was the most important to me because what we knew we wanted to do was make knitting affordable and we wanted to be able to have high quality yarns. Those two had to come together. So when we were down in Peru, there was a lot of discussion about the quality of the wool and how it was being spun. And I knew I wanted the very first wool of the, of the Andes to be um, worsted weight because that's the working horse of all weights of yarns. So we brought it in. Everybody loved it. I was receiving letters that made me so happy, getting letters from college students saying they could now afford to make an entire sweater, not just hats, or not just a scarf. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. So then we started working around the colors of Wool of the Andes. Started bringing in um, a broader range of colors. We started bringing in heather in the worsted weight. And if you're working with a heather yarn, because it has so many, it's like pointillism. It has so many little colors in it. Even if you're wearing a plain sweater, it's going to go with all sorts of outfits in your closet. It's a very economical yarn to use. Okay, so after we had both the Andes and Worsted, we decided to bulk things up a little bit, and we brought it in as a bulky yarn. And it's ideal for knitting really fast Christmas presents, very warm hats, very warm mittens, uh, scarves. It can be a lot of fun with new knitters, with kids, okay? And we have it in all sorts of lovely colors. But then felting came about. Not that it came about, but became very popular. And we started thinking about, okay, what do we want to do with colors that would look good when they're felted? Again, bulky is great for felting because, face it, you're knitting a huge piece of knitting, okay? I mean, if you're trying to make a, a felted hat, before it's felted, it literally comes down to your shoulders. So you want something that knits up pretty quickly. Bulky's perfect. But how about if you could, like, play with colors and they then felt down into just beautiful pieces of fabric that are your hats or your gloves or your mittens, whatever you want. That's when we start bringing in bulky in all of their different colors. Okay. And before we knew it, we started having people saying, well, I love the worsted, I love the bulky, but how about if you brought in a little bit of a sport weight? Something I could do to color work with and not have the fabric become too heavy, too thick, okay? There are still people who want to make uh, baby clothes out of wool wool. You know, they don't worry about it getting washed. They know they'll take care of it. It's perfect for that. So we also have now Wool of the Andes Sport. And again, I am so thrilled with the colors that we're beginning to bring in and all of the lines. Um, they go together well. You can use different weights of yarns and sort of mix them together in terms of you might want to use a chunky to do a hat and then you can choose two colors of the sport weight and do a two color mitten set to go with it. They all work together. They're all ridiculously affordable, so it still sticks to my mainframe of having luxury yarns at affordable prices so that everyone can enjoy knitting.